welcome me everyone. Let's see your iPhone keeps restarting. You see the Apple logo, then the black screen, then the Apple logo, black screen. Well, the iPhone boots up and in a couple of minutes, it's gonna reboot itself. The first solution we're gonna try is the force restart. So this iPhone is working perfectly fine. But let's say yours is not. If you have iPhone 8 and newer, so most people, I'm gonna show you the key combination and we're gonna do it together. So the first thing is we're gonna click release volume up, then click release volume down, and then click and hold the power button, and we're gonna keep this one held down. So let's do this together. You can do this even if you see the Apple logo on and off. So in three, two, one, click release volume up, click release volume down, click and hold the power button, and you're gonna keep this one held down. If you accidentally release the power button while doing this, you will need to repeat the key combination. And for me, I see the black screen, and I should uh, see an Apple logo. And once you see the Apple logo again, you can release. I'd recommend you give this a couple of tries. Also make sure you follow uh, as I do with the key combination. Otherwise, you may be trying to do a full three stop. You're not actually doing it and see if this works. If it doesn't, you may have an older iPhone. And in that case, you just click and hold power and home together for like 20 seconds until you see the Apple logo or on iPhone 7 and 7 plus press and hold power and volume down until you see the Apple logo. Now, if you see the Apple logo, but it turns off, turns back on, then you most likely have water damage or you drop the phone. And there is a solution for this, and this is called the massage technique. So what's happened is if you dropped your phone, your screen cable's been unplugged or your battery cable's been unplugged or your touch cable's been unplugged, and that's why you're getting that on, off, on, off, on, off. So what I want you to do, is if the phone was water damaged, wait a couple of days before you do this because there may be water still on the device. Don't put your phone in rice because it will clog the charging port. Just leave it as it is. Make sure the phone is like facing like this. So the charging port is down. So the water's going out and not in. So once you've done this, first thing is you will need to remove your case. So I'm just gonna use a uh, spare iPhone for demonstration because it's my personal one. This is uh, iPhone 7 Plus here. So you can remove your case and I'm gonna move the camera as well. Before you proceed, if you can, and know most people won't, but if you can, just try and get your phone to stay off. So I'm just gonna slide the power off here. Uh, if it's showing on and off the Apple logo, then you may not be able to do that. So we're gonna start off by getting two fingers here and we're gonna press as hard as we can all around the screen. And we're just trying to get that cable uh, to get connected back to the iPhone. So I'm gonna use one hand here, a stabilizer, so like this. And then the second hand, two fingers, tap as hard as you can, full force, okay, on the screen. This should, oh, the can falls down. This should be a full workout, okay, for your fingers. You can tap as hard as you can, all the way around, and make sure every single area is covered. Okay, full force again, two fingers. We're then gonna flip the phone around. Again, case must be off. And uh, we're just gonna repeat the same two fingers. And we're just gonna press as hard as we can. And when you get to the camera areas, make sure you tap around here as well. Make sure every single part of the phone, front and back, is tapped. Once you've done this, we're now gonna do the massage. So you're gonna get your thumbs and you're gonna press as hard as you can. Just push towards the center like this. Okay, so just push as hard as you can towards the center. Just trying to get those connectors back in the phone like this. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it around. We do the same. Add as much force as you can. Just trying to get this connected back in and the force will do it. So it's going to go like this. Keep on going. There we go. Once you've done this, you will need to do the force restart you saw earlier in the video. 
I'd also recommend that you uh, connect the charging cable before you do the force restart. And this may sound, it may look crazy, but I showed this in tutorials for a couple of years now, and it has worked for people. I saw this originally from uh, World of Tech on YouTube. That's his channel name. We're showing it. It looks crazy. It actually works. Okay, so see I'm booting back up. I'd recommend you do the force restart. If this solution worked, great. If it has not worked, then there's one more thing you can try. Most likely won't solve the problem, but you know, it's just worth a shot, which is restore the phone of iTunes. So we need to replace the uh, place the iPhone into the recovery mode. So on the newer iPhones, connect your iPhone to the computer. First step, so I'm gonna do that now. So to enter the recovery mode, if you have iPhone 8 or newer, we're going to click release volume up, click release volume down, clicking on the power button, and you're going to keep this one held down, not until you see the Apple logo, but until you see the recovery screen. So if you accidentally release this power button, you need to repeat the key combination. It may take multiple attempts as well. So we see the Apple logo and I'm, I'm still holding the button. And again, iPhone must be plugged into the computer. And when you see this screen, you may see iTunes logo or computer screen, you're good to go. On the other models, older models, you press and hold power and home button together. When you see the Apple logo, you release the power button, but you keep on holding the home button. And on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you press and hold power and volume down until you see the Apple logo. When you see the Apple logo, release power, but keep on holding volume down. Now you will need to move to your computer on the computer, if you haven't already, you will need to get the uh, iTunes software here. Um, this is for Windows only, Macs have iTunes built in. Then you open either Finder or iTunes and just select the device which shows up. You can see the recovery mode and just click on restore. If the restore fails and you get an error, that means there is a hardware flaw. And seriously, I would recommend you wait five to 10 days and then repeat the tapping method. The hardware flaw is just a connector, isn't in properly. There is a chance though, if your iPhone is water damaged, that the connectors are corroded. So the connector is just gone on your iPhone. And in that case, you will need to go into a repair shop. Only third party repair shops will give you a chance of retaining your data. So keep that one in mind. And if that you know, if it doesn't turn out well, you will need to get a new iPhone, and that is the only solution. Three fixes, one of them hopefully works. And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.